Hello friends, my name's Cinder Knight and welcome to 60 Seconds. I know this game out game came out forever and a half ago. Um, back when Jack Jacksepticeye used to wear his flat cap. That, that's how long this game has been out. But it was on sale in the Steam store, so I bought it, and here we are. I think my, I think my, uh, hold on. Ah, stop. Mm, much better. My face was a little too big. All right. <laughs> so um, I've never played this game before. Um, the music currently isn't playing because I, I've had this open for a while doing other stuff in the background. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. New game. Uh, classic. I've never played this game before. Um, what does this mean? Scavenge supplies from your house and make sure the fallout shelter is well stocked by the end of your run. No survival included. Learn all about how to scavenge and survive in the event of a nuclear apocalypse. This tutorial is 100% approved by the establishment. I'm going to do the tutorial. I have no idea what I'm doing. <coughs> Bad smell, toxic fog. Just put on a gas mask and keep enjoying life. Okay, how do I play? Welcome to your atomic scavenge drill. Pay attention, you just might make it. Hold the grab control to skip my words, but every time you do, the reds will drop an extra nuke. Okay. Ah. No time to waste. Get moving and head to the marked point in front of you. Move it. Move to the yellow X. What yellow X? There's a yellow X. Oh, this game is running like shit. Um, hold on a minute. Let me let me fix the uh, the uh, graphic settings to be a little bit faster. Okay. This should work better. Soup! I'm at the soup store! Okay. Yep. <coughs> That's a little bit better. Okay. Alright. Okay. There might be some help for you yet. Just keep those legs moving. Just pick up from where we left off. One more time, you know the drill. Mark your living room. Go, go. <laughs> and just run into things. Not bad, but you better be in good shape. There's more where that came from. Okay. Fun time's over. It's a matter of life or death now. Find your son, Timmy, ASAP. Okay, that's not in there. Timmy. Timmy, I found you. I, they're, they're, he's right here. He's right here. I can't do anything. What are the buttons? I. He's right here. Uh, he's right here. Okay. Now what? Do, do. How do I? 
Timmy is safe, but you need to find food to keep the shelter stocked. <clears throat> okay. Uh, hunt for some water bottles. There's one right there. Can I not have that one? Do I have to find the one you want me to have? There's more soup. There's just more soup. Bottle of water, you need it. Trust me. I'm looking for it. There's one right here. Can't go outside. Ah, you want me to grab that one. <coughs> What's my problem? <laughs> okay. Can I do that? Okay. Now what? Got yourself a small stockpile of food, water, and even little Timmy. Little Timmy. No one knows how long we'd be staying down there, so you need a radio. All right, hold on. Find a radio and grab it. Does it matter which radio? I guess it does. Or that or that's not a radio. Oh. <coughs> I have a radio now. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, all right. Six, okay. All right. <coughs> 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 She takes up three slots. That I am. Get my lovely wife. I get this gun. And flashlight. And some more soup. Grab whatever's in here. Ah, come on. I didn't let me move. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right. Got it. Come on. I don't need to I don't I don't care. Let me It takes so long to grab shit. Grab shit. I didn't get the radio this time. All right, go to the food. Gun. Water.
Okay. Yep. That's all I can do. <coughs> I didn't grab enough water. Now you know how you need to survive, but your training is far from over. Okay. What now? I'll see you downstairs for survival training. At ease. <sighs> water. Essence of life. Life. Basis of survival. <coughs> <coughs> Day one. You made it to the shelter. Congratulations, but the drill's not over yet. You'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you, nothing else. You need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Why can't they just go to the shelter themselves? Why do I have to grab my family? <coughs> Why can't they help me put shit in the, in, in the shelter? <coughs> Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out useful things about your shelter and its inhabitants when your survival journal is not opened or yet or hidden. First things first, we must ration food and water. If you don't wine and dine yourself, the folks you've brought with and the folks you've brought with you, you can bet your bottom dollar none of you will ever see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to a given person by selecting a pitcher of a can, bottle, or water. Uh. Uh person by selecting the picture of a can or bottle of water under their portrait, or instantly ration out both by clicking on the character's image. Of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can only survive four days without water. As to food, the longer you deny your people rations, the weaker they get and might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them, it will take you quite a few cans and a lot of time to replenish their strength. <clears throat> I don't want to ration supplies yet. It's literally day one. Since this is your first day down here, you'll need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, Ventilation hum, can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. Get some decent rest, and we'll carry on tomorrow, nighty night. Day two. <coughs> Good morning, survivalists. Hope you slept well. Bed's comfy enough? No? Well, better get used to it since you'll be staying here for a while. We'll start today's activities with rationing since you need to do it every day. But after that, we'll move on to something else. Got your attention? Good. Now listen, there's a risk that you'll run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but food and water are critical to your survival. If they're gone, you'll be gone sooner. Then you can say corn dog. So sometimes you'll need to send people to the surface to bring in more supplies. You do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful though, the tired survivors can never be a part of an expedition. Today we will skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone brave outside. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud. Tibby is good, well, at least he was five minutes ago. Dolores is fine, fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Ted says there's no need to worry about him, he's okay. <coughs> um, who do I want to send out? I'm going to give you food and water so I can send you outside. Sending people out into the wasteland is no walk in the park. Do it too early or without a gas mask and you can bet it's a suicide mission for them. Send healthy and... Wait, can I... Uh, send healthy and well people, sick, hurt, or crazed people are more likely to perish out there. You can send one person at a time. Let's give it a try. This time you will need to send someone out, but if you ever want to skip a trip to the surface, don't select anyone. Okay, so I'm going to give you the food and water. I'm gonna send Dolores outside. That is Dolores, right? <coughs> I don't know who's who. This is a drill, so your explorer will come back after a little while. If they're in the event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple days. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other problems that'll test you to the limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best of men's moral spine. We'll see what clay you're made of. But first, ration your food and water. We don't want anyone starving now, do we? Mary Jane, oh, so that was Mary Jane, went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now we should get him some water. Water is all Dolores wants. All Ted wishes for her a few drops of water. So I'm gonna give each of them some water. <laughs> I'm an army man, so I don't know a second thing about imagination, but you could probably use yours now. Picture this scenario. We need scenario, scenario. 
you come across your kid's hamster, who in some bizarre way found its way to the shelter. The kids are obviously going to love it, and so will you. There's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own. Now it's up to you. Do you cook him? Hell to the no. I'm not going to cook the hamster. I have plenty of food. Day four. <laughs> Good choice. The little furry guy can stay and fatten up. It'll make him a bigger meal in a few days. And maybe your only source of food when you run out of cans. Like the good scout he is, to me, is making the best out of the situation. Go away, fly. He seems, he even seems cheerful. Dolores is fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. No new problems are troubling Ted this time, this fine morning. I'm not going to do anything. You might be faced with the decisions that require you to use your equipment. However, sometimes you might find that you don't have the one that was supposed to save the day. So make sure you scavenge the right supplies before the blast. Keep in mind, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle, listen to the radio, or maybe play Shadow Bunnies using your flashlight. Um, listen to the radio. <coughs> Why can't we clean the rifle while listening to the radio? <laughs> You're hurt. The radio is critical to establishing communications with the U.S. Army, as well as listening out for any trouble that might be headed your way. If you get lucky, maybe you'll catch the music, too. Good news, everyone. The ex expedition is back. Sometimes they'll return with excess surprise. Supplies. Surprise. Sometimes they won't. Other times, they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't want to get those. I hear a glowing in the dark isn't as fun as it sounds. This time, your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after the proper use of a first aid kit. You can only use one during rationing. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. We came across a local church at the end of the road. Most of it was destroyed, but the priest quarters survived the blast. A group of people survived there and started a cult. They believe that everything that's been happening is a game tailored for someone's amusement. How crazy is that? These nice people gave us some canned food. They say that they don't like the taste of it. Now we're certain, now we're certain that they're nut jobs. Plus one food. Cultists decided they won't be needing any holy water. We did a bit of miracle work and turned empty wine bottles into quite full water bottles. Mary Jane is starving. We better give her some food today or else. Mary Jane was injured. Mary Jane is really tired. Timmy is good. At least he was five minutes ago. Dolores is doing quite well or she can't find anything to complain, complain about today. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble. Nothing new. <coughs> Need this and this. Need at least one adult, a live adult, to keep going. If you send your only survival to the surface, you won't know what's happening in your bunker until they come back. And when they do, your shelter might already belong to someone else. A decent padlock may protect it, but not for long. This was a busy day. Take your time to get some sleep. If you've made it this far, you're doing great and have a chance at getting out of this foxhole. Hopefully soon, but don't quote me on that. Pardon me. We've only just someone, someone outside, but let's give it another go today, shall we? The first time you were only asked to pick some, uh, one unlucky bad, <clears throat> one brave volunteer and save the day. Volunteer. This time you also get a chance to equip your explorer with some useful gear, feed your troops, and I'll see you at the shelter entrance. Mary Jane is quite hung hungry. Her wounds are all fixed. How about getting you Timmy something to eat? He's not looking well. The Lord can't remain thirsty for long. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. I'm going to feed and water everyone. <coughs> Anything can be useful outside, and some items improve scavengers' chances of survival. Survival. Notice you have a suitcase. That's handy. With a suitcase, your explorer can carry more. Go ahead, pick something. There isn't anything to pick. I have a suitcase, but there isn't. Oh. I'm <laughs> gonna give her a suitcase. Oh, I shouldn't have sent Dolores outside, or Mary Jane outside. That was dumb. Morning, people. You're probably asking yourself one simple question. What's the point of sitting in this atomic shelter? Why don't I just leave? Well, leaving is a death sentence. There, if the radioactive, the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, then the giant scorpions will, because apparently we live in Fallout 3. You can trust me on that. Your one chance 
of our boys arriving, your one chance is our boys arriving to rescue you. So every good citizen needs to do one thing. Seek contact with the U.S. military and a way to rescue. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon because I sent outside a sick person. I don't know why I did that. Uh, she took a suitcase. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Dolores is quite calm given the situation and no new problems are traveling. Ched this fine morning. Nobody needs anything. No, no, no. Rescue ain't coming today, but we'll get to you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be ready to venture into the waste. However, you also need to be careful. It might not be our soldiers out there. There could be bandits or worse, commies. Just imagine what will happen if the Reds discover you. So let's agree to the rules for this drill. You only open the door if someone knocks two times. Am I clear? Two times. Two knocks. Twice. Hey, you're back. You'll need to remember that some days will be very intense. A lot of things will happen that you need to be prepared for. That's why any day that gives you a break is a blessing. And you'll need to make sure you to make the most of it. Eat, drink, and relax while thinking about all those commie bastards who don't have comfy bunkers like you. That always gets me through the day. Nothing makes me happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the... I'm sorry, it's a plot joke. Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface, plus one suitcase. During our expedition, we stumbled across the ruins of a familiar building, our local bank. Although a place like that might not be the ideal source of useful supplies, we decided to go in anyway. You never know what you might find, except for bags of cash, obviously. It looks like the bank was robbed just before the blast. The vault was cracked open with saws hidden in teddy bears? Who does that? Anyway, we could see why they wanted to rob it so badly. The place was filled with tomato soup, soup cans. Why did I say tomato soup cans? I've been watching too much Mumbo Jumbo. How did it end up here? Maybe the mail had it delivered to the bank instead of a food bank? Plus four soup cans. We found a shopping bag on the floor next to the counters. It contained a couple of rotten bananas, a hand cream, a pair of bunny slippers, and some bottled water. Tipping as all of these treasures might have been, we limited ourselves to taking the water. But I want the bunny slippers. So this is how they guarded the place. Unacceptable. In the guard room, we found skeletons of two individuals who seemed to have been playing cards when the bombs hit. Good thing we kept all of our money in a really safe place that is our special cookie jar in the kitchen. Those guards didn't prove much security here, but their cards will contribute to a high quality shelter entertainment. Thanks, they got cards. Mary Jane is quite hungry despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we're going through. Timmy is being very brave. Dolores is quite calm given the situation and no new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Wait, did she say she's hungry or thirsty? Hungry. Boop. Boop. <coughs> as long as you keep your shelter stocked and remain cautious, you should be okay. However, every choice you make may come back to bite you in the ass. Even after a few days or weeks. Consider your options carefully. This is a drill, but if the nukes start dropping, it'll be a totally different story. camera sideways no that's just i don't know <laughs> if i were you i'd check the door our extraction team might be coming for you any day now but be careful this is a post-apocalyptic scenario and you never know what's coming mary jane is quite hungry how about getting sending you something to drink he doesn't look well dolores can't remain thirsty for long and where's water when ted needs it Boop. Someone's at the door. You can hear several knocks. If you listen closely, you can make out a sequence of three knocks. Do you open the door? No. He said to only open it for two knocks. <coughs> Good call. That wasn't the knock you're waiting for. Caution at all times. Remember that. Be cautious. Apply yourself. And maybe you and your family will be just fine. Or at least most of you. Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. Timmy's is on his base behavior. How long will it last? Dolores is quite calm given the situation, and there's nothing new. Ted says there's nothing to worry about him. He's okay. As you were counting imaginary sheep in your head, another series of knocks uh, broke your concentration. Someone is really hammering on the door, take, not taking no for an answer. Two knocks. Two knocks. The pattern keeps repeating. Do you open the door? Yes. He said to open it for two knocks. <laughs> 
The end. What? Why is it the end? Good job. You're safe and sound with our brave soldiers, and now we can all have some apple pie. You deserve it. You cannot go back to your lovely house and continue your idyllic lives. If any atomic trouble comes your way, you know what to do and how to save yourself. I do hope it never comes back to this, but if it does, good luck. See you when all this blows over. We spent 11 days in our shelter. Day 5, we didn't find Jesus. Day 8, bank heist. And day 11, successfully passed the drill. <laughs> we didn't find Jesus. Jesus was not to be found. Okay. I think I'm ready for the real game. But for now, I'm going to actually leave this episode here. And the next one of these, uh, I don't plan on making this like an actual series. I more plan on playing this whenever I'm bored of the other stuff I'm doing. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunarite setting out. Bye.